Hello everyone and welcome to the Box Desire. Today I'll be unboxing the Fallout 4 Pip-Boy Edition. Fallout 4 is the fifth major installment into the series and one of the most anticipated games of 2015. In case you don't know anything about it, it's an open world game with an awesome post-apocalyptic setting, great game mechanics and tons of quests. This limited edition comes with a very fitting box it has tons of detail with some very nice warning signs and instructions, making it seem like something you'd find in the Fallout universe. On the side it even has the number of the vault from the game, so it matches the whole theme perfectly. Inside you are first greeted with the game. This comes in a steelbook that has a very nice matte finish. And it's very simple with the same logo in the back and the Fallout 4 label on the side. Opening it up reveals the game disc itself, which has some cool artwork resembling that vault door from the game. There's also some paperwork included, information on the season pass, there's a code to download Fallout 3 on Xbox One, and there's also a decently sized poster. This showcases all of the perks from the game with that cartoony art style that Fallout is known for. And you also get this poster with the standard edition of the game, so that's very nice of Bethesda to include for everyone. Besides the paperwork in the steelbook, there's another instruction booklet included that is exclusive to this limited edition, but these are no ordinary instructions. This guide is written as if you were a survivor in the Fallout universe, with a very old school style as you can tell by the images and typography. There's some very useful information in here about how to use the Pip-Boy. There's also a mini guide to all of the enemies that you can expect to encounter. And there's some funny material as well, like with the suggestions and different uses for the Pip-Boy box. You can just tell that they had fun making this. Now let's move on to the main component of this limited edition, the Pip-Boy. It stands for Personal Information Processor and it's the bracelet that your character uses in the game. It's made mostly out of plastic with a very nice paint job all around. It has knobs that you can twist and buttons that can be pushed. They don't actually do anything but you can still play with it as if it was the real thing. In the back there's not a whole lot of detail but it's a very solid piece and somewhat lightweight for how chunky it is. It has a metal clasp to open it up. Now you might think that this thing is super uncomfortable, but it has very nice padding on the inside, so it's actually very comfortable. And putting it on is super straightforward, very easy to do. It is on the big side, but still looks like the real deal. Now the main feature here is being able to insert your phone into the Pip-Boy. This brings it alive and you can connect it with your game. You can look at your stats, check your inventory to see the weapons that you have. You can access your apparel as well. You can check your map to see some of the locations that you have visited in the game. And the radio is in there as well. Also, there's an option to play the minigames that you get in Fallout 4. The one I'm playing here is the Atomic Bomb minigame. Super simple, but very entertaining. So by now you should be able to tell that it's pretty much a fully functional Pip-Boy. It's a really well done replica. I will say this though, it is very big and does not fit my wrist very well since I have relatively small wrists, so that's a bit of an issue. I don't think I'll be using the Pip-Boy all the time. However, it's a great collector's item if you like Fallout, and it even comes with its own stand to showcase it while you're not using it, a much needed piece for someone like me, so I'm glad it was included. The base also has the model name, so I really love all those minor details. But that is it for this unboxing of the Fallout 4 Pip-Boy Edition. I think that it's definitely worth the $120 for everything that you get and such a good replica. But be sure to let me know what you think in the comment section. Follow me on Instagram for some cool tech and gaming related pictures. And also, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below to receive notifications when I upload new videos like these. Thanks for watching.